pretty cool, right? And by the way, it's completely free, no third-party apps, and you can do a lot with this. You can even play games if you want to. Let me see. You can even play games if you want to. It's completely free, no third-party apps. You know, you don't need to download anything. All you have to do is one click. That's it, and you can enjoy your uh, content. You can enjoy your uh, you can enjoy your you can enjoy your tablet content on your TV. Completely free, no third-party apps, and it's really really smooth. I mean, it's so smooth. Look at this. I just click on it, and it's it's right there. I mean, it's just so cool. But it's completely free, so let's just dive right into it. By the way, you can you can go full screen as well. So right there. I mean, I'm full screen. Well, let me see. That there you go. You can actually go full screen. It's really simple. So let's just dive right into it. All right. So a couple of things before we start. Just wanted to say that you don't need to download any third-party apps. It's completely free, as I've said before. As I've said this like multiple times, it's completely free and it's really, really simple. All right. So since we don't have to download any third-party apps, how are we gonna do this? All right. So the first thing you wanna do is to go. What? Well, let's go into your control. Go into your. Is to go into your control center. All right. So extend the control center until you find something called Smart View. As you can see right there, this is called screen mirroring in Samsung these days. Okay, they change the name, hold on, let me show you. They've changed the name from screen mirroring to smart view. It's like Samsung's own smart view thing. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is to make sure your Samsung tablet is connected to your home Wi-Fi. If you don't have home Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. You can use, you can use your, uh, you can use your portable hotspot if you have any. So in this case, all I'm gonna just, just make sure my, uh, make sure my Samsung tablet it is connected to my home Wi-Fi right there. As you can see, it's connected, and that's pretty much all you need to do on your iPad. Just make sure your Samsung tablet is connected to your home Wi-Fi, and that's pretty much all you need to do on your tablet. Now let's jump into the TV, let's do the same, and let's mirror cast your Samsung tablet to a Samsung TV. Completely free, no third-party apps. Let's dive in. All right, so just like we did the, uh, just like we connected the uh, Samsung tablet, to the Wi-Fi, we need to do the exact same thing on your TV as well, okay? So, there's multiple ways you can do this. The simplest way is to go to your TV settings and go all the way down to your network settings. All right, so inside the network settings, if you have if you have done this before, all you wanna do is just click on network status and that way it'll automatically reconnect your, I mean, it will, the TV will reconnect to your home Wi-Fi or whatever you have, okay? Or if you if you never if you have never done this before, go to your network settings instead, and uh, let the TV search for your home Wi-Fi. There you go. That's my home Wi-Fi. All you need to do is just click on it, enter the password, and there you go. In this case, I have done this before, so I'm not gonna do it. So all you have to do is just connect your TV to your home Wi-Fi. Okay. So once your TV is connected to your home Wi-Fi, now since this is a really, really old TV, okay? So now what you wanna do is to open a screen mirroring tab. That way, you're letting the TV know that we want to mirror something onto the TV, okay? So there's multiple ways you can do this. The first one is the simplest one. Click on the source of, on your remote control and go all the way to screen mirroring, right there. Really simple, nothing fancy, okay? Or the second one, the second way you can do this is by going into your network settings and there you go. You have screen mirroring. So it works both ways. You can do this uh, from the settings page or you could do this from the sources page. So open the screen mirroring tab and uh, wait, open the screen mirroring tab and uh, that's it. Now we are letting the TV, now basically your TV is ready to be mirrored to. It's actually that simple. Now, the TV is all ready. Now let's bring out the tablet and let's connect the Samsung to another Samsung TV, okay? All right, so as I said before, it's gonna be really, really simple. We don't need to download any third-party apps to do this. It's Everything is built into it, okay? By the way, as you can see, since I waited, I waited too long, the screen mirroring tab is turned off on your TV, okay? So let's open it up again and let's do this. All right, so in this case, I'm just gonna go into the sources and go to your uh, go to your screen mirroring mode right there. Pretty simple, right? Now, to do this, it's gonna be really, really simple. Doesn't matter what Samsung, uh, what does, doesn't matter what Samsung phone, what tablet, what kind of Samsung tablet you have. It's really, really simple, okay? So, as I said before, just make sure your iPad, sorry, just make sure your tablet is connected to that exact same Wi-Fi connection as your TV is. So, in this case, both are connected to my home 
Wi-Fi, okay? That is really important. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your tablet is really, really simple. Swipe down for the control center right there. Swipe down again, and you need to find the settings called Smart View. They changed the name, of course, from the uh, uh, screen mirroring, mirror cast, to Smart View now. So you have to find the Smart View inside your control center. It might not be here, it might be here. So find the Smart View settings and open it up. Once you click on it, it will automatically search for all the TVs you have uh, running in the background. So in this case, that's my Samsung TV that is actually running in the background. All you need to do is just click on it and it will automatically uh, access for permission. It will ask for the permissions, just give it the permissions. Go back again and click again. There you go. It's gonna ask for your permissions as you can see. All you have to do is just click start now and it's connecting. So just wait, there you go. It is connecting. Now it's connected by the way. It's pretty, it's actually, actually that simple. I mean, it's so, so cool. You can play games if you want to. You can even, you can even use your camera if you want to. So let me focus by the way, so hold on. All right, so it's, it's done. Pretty simple. You can watch YouTube if you want to. You can even, uh, you can even use your camera if you want to. So let me just show you, hold on. Let me open the camera up. It's really hard to hold this ca It's really hard to hold this tablet. It's just so heavy. Uh, so it's kind of hard. By the way, you can, as I said before, as I said before, you can use your camera as well. As you can see, I'm using my camera. It's actually pretty simple. So again, you can do a lot with this. You can even play games if you want to. Let's see if I have any games. There you go. Let's say if I want to play any game, you can play games. By the way, depending on the orientation of your display, it will automatically go uh, sideways or the uh, or the other way around, depending on your orientation. Sorry about that. Hold up. Sorry about that. There is yes, the sound will be coming from your TV, so you have to keep that in mind. All right. It's really, really simple. I mean, it's just so, so awesome. I can even play games. Hold on, let me, I'm just gonna try it, okay? Let's see. Endless, okay, desert. I'm, I'm gonna try it, okay? I'm gonna see if, uh... oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I mean, it's just so, so cool. I'm not good at it, okay? Hold on, let me go back. But the whole point, the whole point of this thing is just that you can enjoy your tablet content on your TV. Completely free, no third-party apps, and it's really, really simple. So that's it for the video. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you, okay? And uh, that's it for the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.